Can never get enough of those highlights, though. Great Nebraska passing. Jaron Boone finally capped off to Bruce Chubik for the hoop and the foul. 14-4, Huskers early. Soon as we come back, Calvin Curry from downtown Tulsa. Oklahoma up six at the break. End of regulation. Sooners up three. Not for long. Here's Jamar Johnson. Hits it to force the overtime. Here's more from Jamar. Some defense, too. Picks Pete Lewis clean. Goes in alone for the hoop. Oklahoma would hit two free throws. That put Billy Tubbs up, too. Nebraska a chance to tie. Jason Glock can't get a piece of the rim. Danny Nee wants the foul, won't get it. 115-111, Oklahoma hangs on for the win. Curry reached his career-high 33 points for the second straight game. This time it included seven three-pointers. There were 15, count them, 15. Eating it up like Jello in Jersey. St. John's cut the lead to six in the second half. James Scott on the break, putting P.J. in a trance, thinking threes. Brian Caver, the three from the corner. Seton Hall on the break. Caver to Arturis Karnishevis, hits the layup and the foul. Karnishevis had 22 points, Seton Hall rolling. John Leahy, the dish to shock a ship for the authoritative jam. Seton Hall wins it, 67-57. The Hall held the Johnnies to 33% shooting out, rebounded them 42-26. St. John's' top scorer and rebounder managed just two points. New Mexico State, Tommy Wyatt hits the three. The Aggies by seven at the break. Neil McCarthy's team atop the Big West. One and a half left. Dwayne Bradbury, the steal. Tommy Wyatt scores the goal. Tied at 64. After free throws, New Mexico State up three late. The attempted three is dunked by Patrick Savoy. The errant shot, it counts as two. No timeouts left for Vegas, so they have to foul. Can New Mexico State successfully inbound the ball? Yes, they do. The Rebels can't foul, and New Mexico State gets the victory. They lead the Big West by three games over Pacific and San Jose State, and they sweep UNLV for the first time. SU 68, Kentucky 37. That's a 31-point lead. As I said, it's a good thing Dickie V wasn't there. Walter McCarty to Roderick Rhodes. He had 11. Everything began to fall for the Blue Shirts. Kentucky down, 72-53. That's Harrison for three. Then McCarty for three. And Jeff Rasso from the corner. You betcha. Coach Dale Brown, we don't need that shot. I'm sure that's what he said. Rhodes for three. He was one of six. LSU's lead is 10. McCarty takes it away from Brandon. The easy two. He scored 23. It's a single-digit advantage. And Patino says, let's go for more of those threes. Travis Ford, he scored 10. Brasso, one more time, and this is G-double-O-D. He hit four of six. Kentucky had 12 threes in the second half. Last seconds. Kentucky, the bench on their feet. That's Walter McCarty from the corner. You know it's going to drop, and Kentucky comes all the way back. The largest comeback in the history of college basketball. Coach Travis Ford, he gave the inspirational speech when the team was down 31, he pulled everyone together and said, we're going to win this game no matter what. I'll tight one. John's all heated up. Second half, St. Joe's up 64-60. Rap Curry, the great look to Carlin Worley. This one, last seconds, tied at 80. Three seconds left. The putback. No. We're going overtime. No. What a foul. They call a foul. No time left. There's no time left. He called a foul. Kevin Connor is on the line for two shots. It's unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. Kevin Connor, a 55% free throw shooter, makes the first. They're up by one. He would miss the second on purpose. And guess what happened? In Philadelphia, everybody on the court, UMass loses 81 80. And Connor said he was confident in himself. My teammates were confident I would make a shot. This the first 8-10 loss of the season for UMass. John Calipari credits St. Joe's and said, it shows how good this league is. Later in the show, more college. Calhoun did. He worked the referees. Good thing John Chaney isn't watching. First half, time runs out, and Ollie hits a three. That's the lead at the half. And Steve Lapis says two, no, three. Eric Ebers for three of his own, and Nova's on top. 64-63. UConn, one last chance. They get it to Danielle. It's up. It is in, it's out. He did have 24. So did Kerry Kittles. Another rampage on the floor in Philadelphia. Ebers had been one of seven from three when he hit the game winner. The third-ranked Huskies, the highest-ranked opponent the Cats have beaten in nine years at DuPont Pavilion. Two. 
Bama missed its first eight of 11. Arkansas did not. Corliss takes it with his left. And because they were missing, the tie turned it up on D. Marvin Orange at 6-2, stuffing Clinton McDaniel at 6-4. Nolan Richardson says move without the ball. Scotty Thurman, nice no look to McDaniel. The Razorbacks up 11 late in the first half. Second half, Corliss takes charge and takes over. He had 20 points in 20 minutes, and Thurman for three. He had 13. Arkansas hit 13 threes, one more than Bama attempted. After the game, Nolan Richardson proclaimed, our confidence has returned. Ten players with at least ten minutes for the Razorbacks. It will not go away. Jim Maloney coaching in his place. First half, the Bonnies, two of 14 from three. Eddie Jones hit two of his own, scored 24. And on the break, Aaron McKee, the finish. Owls on a 13-0 run. They had a 10-point halftime lead. Second, Second half, half, the Bonnies bounce Neil right back. Garland Mance, a 10-2 run. Mance. Bonnies he within a deuce. Three, Temple then on a so run of its here. own. Really William Cunningham is wide open. Uh, Jones, Brunson, along. McKee, 52 with a 65 points. Following the win, all the players heard about was Coach Cheney. Eddie Jones said, we can't wait until this whole thing blows over. It'll be nice to have the coach back. Big country over Greg Oster. Tag. Cowboys by five. Reeves, 16 points, Reeves nine boards. 10 jumper. seconds to go. Kansas by two. Brooks Thompson, Thompson with a left. Ties it. We're tied at 49. They don't call a timeout. Jacques Vaughn takes it down. Works free to get a similar shot, Vaughn. but it's a different result. We go to one overtime. One one. Roy Williams did get 18 from Oster. Tag, but Reeves with a nice dish to Fred Burley. The lead was two and it would grow. Both teams did it on D. The Cowboys hit only 36%, Kansas 37. In fact, Linda, the Cowboys hit only three shots in the final 13 minutes. First half, Matt Waddell, the steal, and he alley to who else? Glenn Robinson. Oilers up by 11 at the half. Stu concerned, a minute to go. Glenn Robinson posting up on Michael Finley. It was Purdue by three. Badgers know time's running out for them, but they have a chance. Purdue on the inbound. Robinson loses the ball. Brian Kelly saves it. Michael Finley with a shot. The long heave. Let it go, Michael. Oh, not a shot. Purdue hangs on 67-64. Robinson scoring 13 of Purdue's final 17 points. He finishes with 27. His 46th straight game in double figures. Wisconsin drops to 1-3 and three when Rashard Griffith is not. Off early, but they trailed. The first half, Dugan Five. That's Dugan Five's only bucket of this game, and we showed it to you. Michigan up by seven at the half. Iowa would come back. Chris Kingsbury, the three is good. Part of a 14-2 run by Iowa to open the second half. Michigan too much though. Jalen Rose, watch this. To Dugan Five. Jawan Howard finding Ray Jackson. Finish it off, Ray. Michigan, the final, 89-76. Seven straight wins for the Wolverines. The sixth straight time they beat the Hawkeyes. Jalen Rose, 19 points. Either. St. Louis's Donnie Dobbs. Nice move. He had 22 points in this game. For Cincinnati, one of the stars, 6'5 freshman Keith Greger. The leaning hoop, two of his eight points on the game. But wait a minute, the Billikens have a weapon. His name is Scott Highmark. 27 points for Highmark. Eight, he had five of the Billikens' eight three-pointers. Bob Huggins has a headache. Bearcats forcing the turnover. That's that Greger guy again. And Damon Flint, the nice give and go. Charlie Spoonhour's Billigans end up losing it by 5, 78, 73. Since he coming back from 10 down in the final 20 minutes, the Billigans have a two